Darcy Ward off the inside gate in red, making light work of his broken thumb and knee ligament damage. Nicky Pedersen just a one point so far. Adrian Madzinski, gate three in white, and Greg Hancock unbeaten off the outside. This is heat 15. It is indeed, and Hancock's been flying tonight. He really has put on a masterclass so far. Heat 15 then, can Hancock make it count from gate four? It's a long way to that first turn. He's going to try and chop through the middle of his rivals. What a move from the old master. Hancock comes through to take the lead here. Darcy Ward is second. Pedersen in third here in blue. Oh, oh Ward's, Ward's gone back square. Up. Yep. Lost uh, the machine there, and now Pedersen in second with Madzinski in third in white, but Ward is still under power. He is indeed. Madzinski there charging hard, has got the better of Nicky Pedersen. Hancock brilliant out in front, really superb coming off that first corner. Pedersen's, oh, <laughs> such a strong ride to get himself back into second place. Mazinski on the outside, they really are going at it, throwing the bikes at each other. Mazinski now on the outside, can he hang on? Hancock's unaware of all of this. Ward's still under power, he's still cruising around at the back. But uh, terrific action. Oh, Mazinski's got it all wrong. Throws the bike away. Awkward looking fall that night. Well, he's struggling to get to his feet as well. The red lights have come on. So that means that even though Greg Hancock was literally yards away from the finish line, the race is going to have to be rerun. And the fact that Darcy Ward was still under power means he can go again. But Madzinski is in wow. serious trouble here. He's, he is in serious trouble. And I would suggest that he has had an impact to his head because he's all over the place. No surprise to see him excluded again. Two races consecutively that the pole, the wild card this evening, has been excluded. Got it all wrong there. Backs the bike into the corner and slams into the track. It must have knocked him around. He must have been seeing stars here because he, that is very awkward indeed. And you can see how hard he hits his head as he backs into the track. But a second chance for Darcy Ward, Nige. He just kept the bike going. That has enabled him to be in the rerun. And you know the quality of Ward, he'll go close, that's for sure. But Mazinski, after a fine start, he's sort of, uh, well, he's having a hard time right now. He is, he's disqualified from the restart, so three riders only, but the fact that Darcy Ward did maintain power on the bike means that he is eligible for the rerun. If he'd have pulled out completely, then he would not have been allowed back in the restart. Here we go, heat number 15 it is. Tate tries, and who is going to get to the front this time? Nicky Pedersen with a good one. Hancock around the outside again. He just keeps on doing it, doesn't he? Nicky Pedersen is second. Darcy Ward is third. We're going to have a race on here because you can be sure that Ward is going to hunt down Nicky Pedersen. Oh, so close <laughs> to Pedersen's back wheel. This is spectacular, but Greg Hancock is so assured and in so much control, and Ward piles the pressure on Pedersen now. Is he ever? This is real action packed for second and third. Hancock out in front, a masterclass once again. Ward strutting his stuff. Such a talent on the bike. Pedersen making work overtime. Now they all bunch up. Three abreast. Ward now gets into second. Pedersen back up the inside. Fabulous action for second and third. Proper speedway here in E15, that's for sure. Hancock unaware of what's going on behind him. Ward now to the outside, trying a different run. Now gets the better of Pedersen. Down the back straight for the last time. Here we go, a big blast from Ward. Hancock has the lead. Down to the line we go. Darcy Ward! Whoa! What a move! How on earth did he manage that? that Unbelievable was sensational. Speedway. Nine points and a spectacular win for him. It was indeed, because he had to do it the hard way. And when he had to battle so very hard with the three-time world champion, Pedersen, it's remarkable that he was able to then steal the win away from Greg Hancock, who was unbeaten coming into this race. It was an action-packed race throughout, inside, outside, never giving an inch. You, you expect it from Pedersen. Pedersen batting really hard for every world championship point. Hancock, as I said, he was unaware of all this fabulous action that was going on behind him. Ward finally then steps his authority on second place and then takes the opportunity to get to the front. Well, Greg Hancock, how did you feel when that race just got rerun? Well, you know, you got to take the, the, uh, the, the reruns with the good ones and it's just one of them things, but uh, sometimes you can do without it.